We're back with another collection purchase. This is a really big one. We got three boxes stacked full of cards, two elite trainer boxes. I'm gonna go through everything. We'll talk about how much I paid. We'll talk about all the cards and what I plan to do with each and every one of them. Maybe that'll help you figure out what to do if you come across big collections. But there's so many. So this will be a long video. Strap yourself in. This collection, I still haven't really come up to the full value, but it's looking to be around the $10,000 mark. There's a lot in here. There's a lot to go through. We're going to go relatively fast. We have a... It's all Japanese. Just a lot of stuff. Now I purchased this off a friend, and I already know that the stuff in here is the not as gradable as most things would be. So I'm not expecting any mint or gem mint cards, and that's completely fine. I'll put a fingerprint on this card there, look how disgusting that is. Um, but, you know, that's how it is. I like selling singles. I'm going to go through, put the effort in to sell the singles, make my margin, move on to the next deal, you know. So without further ado, let's start it off. So we got some BS Energy Hollows. Pretty nice, pretty rough shape, you know, maybe $5, 10 $20 each. Some awesome E-Series hollows. So you can see the condition on these isn't absolutely terrible. A little bit of edge wear. Some of this might even be still worth grading, you know, like send it in bulk. Put no subgrades even. You get like seven, eight, nines. A Polyrath fan out there. Yukimori fan. Definitely would love this. As we go through. Sit back. Enjoy the artworks. Hollows on hollows on hollows. I've already gone through pretty much the collection myself, but I, I had so much fun, so we're going to do it again together. Some McDonald's cards. Some cards worse than others. Some cards much better. As you can see, this one is like pretty much mint, I guess, a little bit of edge wear, but... Wow, some sleeved energies. Got this from a relatively big Japanese collector. But he's like, this is all the stuff that I've accumulated over the past few years that I didn't feel like grading, but it was still good enough to hold on to raw. So, yeah, some more McDonald's promos. Even these cards, I'm telling you guys, starter cards, and they're old school, very collectible. Good pickups. Look at that Quilava. Look at ourselves a Raichu. He's a bit beat up. The corner's a bit bent. The purpose of this video is kind of to show everything to myself so I have a record of it, but also to you know, show it off because it is a nice collection. Some trainer mag promos. These things are awesome. Very nice if you're completing a set. So we got more. It's been a little bit mixed up since I went through it already. Got some web. <laughs> got a VS Walmer. Look at that. Oh, some Altamarees. I've sold a few of these in CGC 3, 4. They looked a little bit better than this, but, you know. If your card's a little bit better condition than this one, I really think you could grade it. Get a 3, 4, 5. I sold them for like $150 each. <clears throat> I mean, that's not bad. So I'm just going to take a water break. Expedition based Pikachu. Great card. Now this is E1 Unlimited, but this one was released in Unlimited without the stamp. So that's the stamp there. So if you see this card Unlimited, it's not overly rare. Don't get too excited. But all the other ones are definitely bangers. Kecleon, promos. This is lots of the same. Some VS cards, a few more promos. McDonald's. A lot of this is like old, old back or new back promos, I guess. So, 
he did break it down for me nicely. And I'm going to ruin all the piles and switch it all up. Houndoom is a great card. Donald's 00P. Growlithe? Awesome. Let's put these to the side. Grab the next big stack of Roni. Awesome artwork. If you ever come across big collections like this, there's a lot of people that have them, you know. You gotta expand your stance in the community. You have to approach people. I approached this guy. I said, Hey, I like selling singles. Do you I know we had lots of Japanese cards, like do you have lots of singles? We can arrange a price. You send it to me, I can obviously if you don't have a big standing, no one's gonna send you anything for free, but I offered to pay him fifty percent market price for everything. And that's really good if you don't have to like put that much effort in. But we got some Poke Park and some Rumble promos. These things are awesome. Perfect artworks. Five, ten, twenty dollars each. Some more VS. These are from the deck. The Alto Marie's deck. Pokemon's weird. Awesome. Trainer Mag promo is another set. I mean, it's going to be a good day going through this and listing it. It's going to be some very happy buyers. Some more VS. Some Hollows. I mean, oh, Ham Frost. Let's check the condition of this. Pretty clean, looks like a little bend here, but overall it's a nice condition card. Very good for a binder. That's the idea. I'm still selling lots of graded cards and <clears throat> that is my main thing, but in my downtime I have thousands of singles put aside to just take photos of and list the singles as that's how I started. That's how I built everything. I was selling singles. Some of the biggest collectors I know in the hobby still sell singles. Because it's just a way to extract the value. It's how we all start. Awesome leafy on our work. Level X. Now we're into like a new back era. Ooh. Trying not to scrape these cards against each other too much. But as you can see, the Diamond and Pearl, lots of unique artwork. Much different to original series, but it's not for everyone. It's Guard of our level X. It's quite cool and decent condition. See, there's hundreds and hundreds. Just hollows on hollows. I love this artwork. This is stuff, you know, if this stuff, if a lot of it was mint condition, I would look into grading because not many people have these and I can imagine not many people are sending these away for grading. So if you have a graded level X sh shaman, you'll probably be one of the only person on the market with that card. And that's really important to growing. If you're the only one with it listed, you can capitalize. I've sold like 100 to 200 cards that are relatively cheap. $1 to $5. You know, just weird random Pokemon. But no one else had them listed graded. So they went for like $50 to $100 graded in like 8 to 9. And they're relatively cheap hollow cards, it's just I was the only one with a graded copy and I was capitalizing on it. Love the Rotom, absolutely love this artwork, it's so good. Time space distortion, distortion. Some more. These legend promos, is a set of six. If you see these, I've sold probably 20 graded copies of these legend promos, so 
pretty high demand for them. These Pichus from the Arceus movie, very good. I sold two of them, graded the other day. If I was you, I would look into picking up that sort of stuff. There is a lot of demand out there. There's millions of Pokemon buyers. More than millions. They just want you to be a good seller with clear photos, decent price. That's it. As we bust through all these hollows, they're just so awesome. We're going to get to the old back stuff later on. Yeah, but as you can see, there's just hollows on hollows, secret rares, another one of these Ampharos. This stuff's in much better condition than he explained, but a lot of this, you can see it's a little bit rough, and some of it's mint, and then it's a little bit rough again. A lot of this is stuff that wasn't really worth grading before, like a year, but now that the collector diversity is just so large, that people love these cards. This is a legendary bird, I mean, if that was mint, definitely worth Sending away Delta Species Hollows, people love them. This Taurus is really weird, he has like a human face. But yeah, Hollows on Hollows. I just got some of these back in PSA 10 that I sent away a year ago. And I've had lots of interest on eBay already, just being listed for one day, so... Oh, one more pile. And we'll move on to some stuff that people really like. But yeah. This is this is the grind part of the hobby. This is the work. You know, this is the work you gotta put in. My my graded online store does quite well. And I probably don't really need to do this stuff, but I like doing this stuff. If I can spend ten thousand dollars on this and then spend like a hundred hours going through it, spend a week, spend two weeks worth of work I mean the potential upside is insane a lot of these would sell for 10 15 20 dollars each if you put the effort in and you make the listings but that's all it's about especially these band cards and these secret rares from Stormfront <clears throat> that's what I preach just like hard work effort and just doing a good job of it I'm not sure if I went through this already. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Another Leafeon. Any evolution is just money in hand. Even now, more than ever. Yeah, I think I already went through that. Let us clean this up. I hope you're doing well. Appreciate anyone who watches these videos. I really, I want to try and help as many people as I possibly can. I mean, the gain I get out of the videos is slim to none. I do get to connect with a few people that want to buy graded cards off me. And I can do them better deals outside of eBay. And I can connect with some collectors that are looking for stuff. And maybe I can hopefully find it for them. But overall, the idea is to help. Even if I only get one view and I help one person, that's worth it to me more than anything else. So, and these... these Things are really annoying. I'm just going to take it all out. The ETB is empty. Elite Trainer Boxes are really good for storing cards, but they're kind of annoying to take cards out of. So we've got some Poke Park Hollows, Rayquaza, PCGP Mew. Now there's going to be a lot of good stuff here. <clears throat> remember, not gradable. Just remember that in your head. So a lot of this has to be sold raw. There's no lotteries here. This is just going to be pure hard work, but I love this play promo jar, Archie. And Kyogre, they're just so nice. We have the belt. Probably like $100, $100 in this condition. Maybe a little bit more. There's no bends or creases. Awesome promo there. Kind of like a little, the prize you get for winning, kind of like a league cup. So, awesome prize there. Kind of like this palace book. It's got a gold stamp there. I mean, I've shown these cards before, but if you haven't seen them before, they're really good. They have great long-term upside. 
Jirachi EX Play. You got these just for turning up. Ugi EX, you got these when you got a little bit of points under your belt. These are awesome. These are a little bit rough. Can't see the back of that. Even in play condition, people love these. So I might even be grading. Even in these rough conditions, I might be grading these in the threes and fours. <clears throat> because people love them. So more play promos, more and more. This is the good stuff. This is the juice. This mule is very expensive, even in rough condition. <clears throat> they didn't look that bad. My throat's... I'm dying today. I'm sorry. McDonald's hollows. Awesome, awesome stuff. Thank you to my friend for trusting me with this deal. It's just... It's just awesome to go through all these Japanese cards. I mean, I've had every single one of these... But just every time I see them, it's just amazing. Shining your Makunis. Oh, got more Altamari. These are a little bit better condition. A little bit chipping. This is definitely like if you see a card like this, this is worth like above like 150 raw in this condition. This is definitely worth grading. I know people might think grading is just for mint cards, but this is in a five, six, seven. I think that thirteen dollar bulk definitely increases the value of your card plus it means you can't sell it while it's like away so it kind of makes you diamond hands if you need the money now if you need money fast <clears throat> don't feel bad definitely sell it but sell it raw but if you have time on your side and you don't really care when you sell the card send them to cgc bulk i mean literally no problem with that that's what i'm gonna do all it takes is patience it Right now, it'll probably take a year to get some bulk back. But $13 a card, I think in a year's time, PSA won't even have their bulk open. So you got to plan for the future. This, this hobby is about knowing what flips are supposed to be fast and what flips are supposed to be slow. And rare cards, like play promos that are always going up, you can definitely flip them slowly. Now, these are two probably the two most expensive cards in here. Some awesome venus lotteries i definitely won't be selling these raw these graded will always go for more than the raw counterpart got some expedition hollows some more popular vs cards i think he pulled these out for a reason and some popular set hollows i mean this guy is a genius he's super long-term pokemon collector he knows exactly exactly what people want so the cards in these elite trainer boxes are the hit cards they're the cards you really want to be looking out for so he's kind of just showing me even cards that are definitely worth going for. Legend pieces, they're pretty cool. They're always usually rough in my opinion. Whenever I try to buy them, they're always in bad condition, but they look cool in a binder. Delta Species Hollows. Level X Mewtwo is awesome. Lenticular Deoxys is another great card. Sells for like $50 to $100 raw in this damaged condition and a little bit more as you get a better copy. Some more VS hollows. I so we've seen like every VS hollow times 20. Gengor. Makuni's Pikachu. Ivy Pikachu. Which is awesome. Another one. Snap promo Pikachu. I mean, this one's this one's in great condition too. This is definitely worth grading. It's got the little snap thing here. It's got this text at the bottom. I don't know what it says, but whatever card has text at the bottom like that is an awesome card. You'll just see that in the future. Pretty cool surfing Pikachu there. Some more Pikachu promos. Pikachu, Pikachu. Love him. Gotta love him. World Pikachu cards, still a cool set. You can pick up binders for 20,000, 30,000 yen. Get awesome condition cards out of them. They always sell. Every time I've listed a graded copy of these Pikachus, it sells like near instantly. $150 for a nine, gone. Level X Pikachu, another great one. McDonald's Pikachu, Jesus. This is the Please Trade, I think. It's the new the indigo plateau i think this is the legend card 
So he said it's probably this might be like the second most expensive card in this collection. Really nice condition. PCL Lab, awesome, awesome card. Very unique. I think it's like what 2004. I'm not sure how you got it, but it has a unique story behind it. Some black and white lottery promos. Some more legend cards. These two are awesome. Looks like around 20,000 yen for a near mint set. Pokemon Center promos, I mean, yeah. I said the word promo so many times, but when you have a card tied to like a really like specific release, it's just, there's no downside. They're just awesome. It's just great. Let me take this. All right, let's show you the next Elite Trainer box. Let's get through the juice. Because I'll be falling asleep soon. I might do a part two with the rest of the cards. Okay, this. I'm pretty sure all this is like old back promos. He says on the front here, old back promo. So that's what it is. So what do we got? We got some Koros, Hungry Snorlax, Lucky Chansey, Southern Islands, some Vending, more Southern Islands. And now we got some old back set hollows. Not the best condition, but Blastoise is always a good one. Venusaur is always a good one. Dark Blastoise, I mean, just look at the juice, right? This is just... Remember, I'm not getting this collection for a steal. I'm paying a good price for it. So, a lot of hard work is going to go into this. But, it's going to pay off for me. These are just awesome cards that people love. U2 Mew, Legendary Birds, Dragonite, Base Set Hollows. There we go. Some of the conditions are rough, obviously, as you can see. Use down that pile. Zapdos has seen better days, but obviously I'm not going to pay that much for this. As we go through, just, yeah. Some of these Wizards of the Coast artworks are pretty good. I think this is the Charizard pile now. We've got some good ones. Condition on these isn't terrible, so definitely sending all these away to grade. I got time on my side. I can wait. Wow, that's really nice. Oh yeah, there's a crease in the corner there, but... You know, that's not too bad. Not all collectors can afford 10s, so... If I can help people get graded cards on the low, that's fine with me. Small level X Charizard, Stormfront, Diamond and Pearl. Oh, there you go. It's just speechless, really. Some of these are really clean, too, so I'm trying my best not to like scrape them against each other. But, yeah, this is just great collection. Oh my god, I forgot what these were called. And someone commented on my video telling me what they were, and I've already forgot. I had to pause there, I couldn't get it off my head, it's going to kill me. Lucky Stadiums. It's eight different ones, each is a different region in Japan. You went there, you played, you got your Lucky Stadium, that is an awesome set. All have like a Pokemon floating around. There's Gyarados there. There's Mew on the other one. Diglett's down the bottom there. Onyx is there. ho -Oh in the top. Pretty cool Battle Road promos. Miracle Berry. It's got a gold stamp. This is the, the JR Rally. Yeah, they made this and then they obviously they made a an English version. 
from Shadowless Hollows. This was this was nice to see. I mean, they're not in exceptional condition, but it's a Shadowless Hollow. Great Rockets Mewtwo, so it's got like the GR for great. Game Boy Lugia, you know how I feel about this card, it's insane. This is the Shining Yimikuni. The other one that I had, I don't know, I don't know why I called it that, but there's a cool promo. Oh, I have, can't skip over the gift box, Moltres. There's too many good cards. I can't I can't show every single one. We got some CD promo Venusaurs to go with the Blast Doses. All the Charizards from before. These are the Blasty Boys. Game Boy Dragonite. Shining <laughs> Oh my god. I'm having a heart attack. These are all clean, but when they're when they're sealed, these these are generally is there a sealed one here? I think he said there was. Oh, it might be in another pile. But I'll show you what happens when they're sealed. Birthday Pikachu. More than likely a little bit rough. As you can see, yeah, a bit of edge bit of scratches. Awesome card. I'll re-sleeve that later. So yeah, so this is a sealed Game Boy Dragonite. This is how they come in the Pokemon TCG. Whatever, like Japanese Pokemon game. But he probably kept this sealed because there's an issue with it. Let me see if I can find this for you. Hmm. It's going to be. You can usually see through the seal to see where there's a crease, but. He, w he said he definitely wouldn't have put it in there if it wasn't bad, but yeah, you see what happens to a lot of these people like rip them out like this, and then the tape is really bad. So, I've got to use my trusty scissors, which are somewhere, I'm not sure where, over here. The scissors will easily get you through the card. Or through the tape to get to the car. And then we'll have it here. So as you can see, this was mint out of a seal. Then you can already see a little bit of there's a big print line out of the thing. Maybe he was sort of blind. Maybe he thought there was a bend, but there wasn't. Oh no, it was down the bottom the whole time. I knew it was there. So yeah. This has a crease here or a den on the corner. Now, I still think this is worth grading. I've sold like 10 of these. In CGC five six sevens, which are very similar to this, they're mint, but they have a bend. I'm guessing these ones are all going to be the same. So yeah, if you see sealed Dragonites, they're not. Yeah, the, there's a crease in the corner on probably all of them. But if you see a sealed Dragonite, it's not always going to be, you know, some sort of mint condition gem mint ten. Oh, it's a nice Game Boy Lugia. Wow. It looks to be like a little bit of maybe water damage or just a just a bend. It's right here. I can feel it. You can see it with the light. Big press. Unfortunate. But yeah, Game Boy Dragon Eyes, be careful when you're buying those. Alright, let's move. We've got some police trade. Some Oran berry or just normal berry. Miracle berry. Battle roads. Some more base set hollows. Just popular hollows. Not awake promos. You can tell when they're not awake because they got this symbol there. I think there's like five or six in the set. I can't even. I can't even. My mind is fried right now from all this juice, this straight up fire being injected into my veins. Umbreon hollows, just bucket loads. Here we go. Small loot gears. All right. Yeah, this is just dope fire. Oh, there's a no rarity Machamp there. So there at the bottom. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Diplosion 17. Another Umbreon. I'm not... This, this won't be, like, dealt with for a few weeks, because I have a lot going on, but... 
So none of this is really going to be for sale. If you do want any of this, I'm really sorry, but I'm just putting it all away and I'm going to deal with it when I have time. So I'm not going to go through with anything, but maybe down the line I can link the singles account and show it off. But let's go into the next box. Okay, it's all cleaned up. We're back. With another box. Ugh. Just so much. The rest of this isn't really that good, but I really want to just rush to the good stuff. But we've got some Squirtle deck cards. Pretty cool. Some of them unique artwork, like this Magma. Some of them reprinted. Spiro. Raichu. These are cool. If you see these, they scratch pretty easily because they're an old back. And if they're not sleeved, they're probably going to be in bad condition, but the demand for these is pretty good. Love that Raichu. Some bending cards and some some glossy promos. Pretty cool. Yeah, this collection is just straight fire. This is the WHF Neo Starters. Some more new back stuff, old back, Delta Species. A lot of this is probably valued pretty low because of just like being played and not very desirable, 20, 30, 40 cents. But it adds up big time. And to do the listing only costs time. If you buy an eBay store, you get free listings. So, you know. Some good condition stuff here. This could be real. It's the hardest part to an eBay store. It's just literally just doing the listings. Not even the the act of selling. Just getting the listings up, getting motivated, just getting into it. It's a good condition for a black and white full art. Rocky helmet. Some new series stuff. Skip through most of that. There's just a lot to take in with this. I'm just going to keep skipping past a lot of it until we find something exciting. These Delta Hollows, I've had so much interest on these Delta species with this little text at the top and the silver borders. I've sold almost every single one I've listed. Sometimes I list like a five of a Delta species card for like $50 and it just sells. So... You can use my my sales knowledge to your advantage. Some Koro Koro promos, lots of Koro Koro promos. Might be able to make a few sets, sell them as sets. XY EXs, lots of them. Yeah, relatively cheap, cheap junk. We got some vending cards mixed in with like level X, <laughs> mixed in with that, mixed in with mixed, mixed, mixed. Some more Coros. He had so many Coro promos. Yeah. This looks like to be a quick starter set card. It has the vending symbol, but it's not glossy, so you can tell pretty sim, pretty easily. Like these are, this card is definitely glossy. You can see the way it reacts. And this card's not. It's got the matte finish, so you can see even with the light. That's how you tell. Some Squirtle deck or turtles, pretty awesome. Some more of these. There's a version of these cards that has a, a gold stamp for the Neo Genesis. I'm not sure if there's any in here, but they're really, really rare. They're like $100 each raw. So if you see those, definitely pick them up. But what else is in this box? More vending, it looks like. Nothing too exciting, so we can skip to the next box. As this video is going on long enough. Oh my god, I just dropped all the cards everywhere. Alright, it's fine. I'm just going to clean this up real quick and get the other box out. My back. That was a terrible mishap. That happens when you got sleeve cards. They're very slippery. So we got some more 
new back hollows. There's another old back hollow, just mixed. Pokey Park promos, very cool. Very, very cool, especially if you get the hollow ones. The hollow ones look awesome. Some plate promo energies. What else is in here? Just more Pokey Park. There you go. If you don't really know what they are, look them up. They're cool. There's so much depth to this hobby in the Japanese side that you can get lost, and I'm still learning new stuff every day. Just like this Legend for Alligator is a really cool card. You don't have to collect high-graded copies. You don't have to get PSA 10 sets. You can just get binder sets or low-graded copies, whatever. I have a few binder sets of stuff on my own. And it's just so good to enjoy it on like the lower end. I see people pay... Pay what, like $500 for a PSA 10 version of a card that's like 10 to $20 raw? Like, you. Yeah, people can do whatever they want with their money, but if it was me, I probably wouldn't be doing that. I like to gain value, I don't like to just get like a label. Obviously, I have paid for some cards in the past Pristine 10 CGC, I bought a few Perfects. I've, de I've definitely bought my fair share of overgraded cards, and you know, sometimes I look back, was that the play? I probably could have just bought a raw card or a 9.5 that's like within a few decimals of same condition, but I still chose to do it the other way. Some Southern Islands, Coro Promos. Promo, 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 oh my god, just so much. Some quick starter set stuff, a little bit of ending. This collection is just so good. And it's like another full binder worth of cards. Some banned cards, I think I separated these earlier. Misty's Tears, Sabrina's Gaze. These aren't rare by definition because there is a lot of them. Because they are just a set non-hollow. But they're very dust like they're very desirable because of what they are. And that's all it takes is a little bit of desirability. Like these Pokey Park promos aren't that rare, but they hit all the boxes. It's a unique release. Obviously, unique artwork to Japan. Has a starter Pokemon like Mudkip was at Gen 2. Like, come on. I mean this even this card alone has like Slowpoke, Psyduck, Zerskid. And Mudkip on it. This card has Torchic, Skitty, Meowth, Munchlax. I mean, you get four Pokemon for price of one. They're, that they're awesome cards to get. When you get those multipliers of so many different cards on there too, so many different Pokemon. Level X. I mean, I, I haven't been stung by the Level X B yet. I I still think they're kind of weird, but you know, if people enjoy them, it's not up to me to decide what's. What people can and can't enjoy, I'll just I'll try and sell it to them if they want to buy it. We got some trainer hollows, some team rocket hollows. It looks like slow kings, a lot of slow kings. Oh my god! My I think my my phone's about to overheat. So ah, oh, that's the last of it. There's just the hollows on hollows. I gotta remember, Japanese you get one hollow per pack. So back in the day. You know, a few years ago, you used to be able to buy a thousand Japanese hollows for 50 cents each. It wouldn't even be, you wouldn't blink an eye. These days, they're not that plentiful. Fast forward two or three years, it's going to be even worse. I mean, getting any of these. So stock up on you can. I'm definitely stocking up on as much. I'm going to put it in boxes or list it on eBay very slowly. Because every day there's another Japanese collector come to the great side of this hobby but we're almost at 40 minutes we're gonna cut it there appreciate you coming through any questions message me these are for sale but I can I can help you out with your collections or I can help you out with some purchases if you just message me if you think something's a good or bad deal I'm, I'm always available I'll see you later in this binder here we have 
probably one of the best non-TCG sets ever made. Definitely one of the best that will be ever made. <laughs> it's the Cardass Series 3 to 4 set. Obviously this uh, Fionn card isn't supposed to be there. But it's a Cardass 3 to 4. It's a great set. Japanese exclusive. All of these are unique arts as far as I'm aware. Maybe one or two have reused elsewhere, but let me move over here. They're awesome. I mean, I've made videos about them before, but this is like the ultimate collector's dream set. I've seen them go from two years ago, you could pick up a set for $100 relatively easy. Now it's like $500, $600. I, I can't see that trend stopping. Like, they were very cheap for a long time, and they, like, weren't viewed as, like, a great collectible, but as time goes on, people get smarter, they figure things out. I'll show you what the hollows are like. They're, they're very, they're basically stickers, so I think you can peel them off, but... Very prone to chipping and scratches because they're just so delicate. Getting PSA 10s in these is just near impossible. I don't even know how there is any, to be honest. But, I mean, look at this. Jolteon doing Spark. Vaporeon, Eevee's there. Ditto's got the... <laughs> turning into all the three starter cards. Taurus is attacking Psyduck. Pince is doing his move. Stai's doing Swift. This is the ultimate... The absolute ultimate. You two is doing his stuff. There's information on the back of the cards, you know, like... I can't read Japanese, obviously, but it's like some of their moves, I guess. But, yeah. These are ultimate. Like, S tier. There's another two cards that do come in the set. They're called checklist cards. I don't have any spare right now, actually. Actually, oh, well, maybe. Well, that's very good timing. I just got these the other day. Another set of raw ones to send to PSA. The condition of these is uh, not probably not the greatest. Probably get a 5 to 6, but they're just so rare. These are like the secret rares of the set. I'm not sure of the print numbers, but it can't be much. It really can't be that many of these. Maybe 10,000 of each. But these go for like 30, 40 thousand yen probably 300 to 500 dollars each in near mint condition easily so if you can get a set so this one usually goes at the back there right at the end this is file number zero 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 so it usually is the first card in the binder but a lot of people just put the two at the end with each other if you can get those as well i would and then the rest of this binder is yet another card ass set this is probably like the fourth or fifth set that i have so, I love these kind of sets, they're just so good. And a few other alternate TCG cards here. Some hollows. These are not in all, I don't think any of these are in good condition, but as you can see here, this Charizard is uh, just chipped at the top. Might be like $100 maybe, but awesome card. Some more here, and that's the rest of the binder, but yeah, card ass set series three to four this here is from the card ass one to two the card ass one is the red set and card ass two is the green set but i don't think they're as good as the three to four set i do like them more personally but for resale and investing and whatever else the three to four is definitely more unique because it has awesome unique artwork this is top sun i wouldn't even touch it these five cards, top sun's kind of lame, but if you are looking at getting some non-TCG cards, I would definitely start with the three to four set, maybe get a one to two set, because the artworks are just insane. 